along with Springfield, other towns in the areas were hit by the tornado touchdowns. Yeah, twisters hit the little town of Munson, Mass. That's right near the Connecticut border. Storms damaged or destroyed homes there and shattered a 137-year-old church steeple. News 8's Tina Detail on the scene in Munson with a look at that damage. This is Washington Street here in Munson, one of the hardest hit areas of town. As you can see, the power lines are down, trees are down, and also homes. This house right here is one of three completely flattened. And we got about halfway down the stairs when the house just disintegrated. Michael Rocher and his daughter made it down to their basement just in time. I was holding on to something when I felt what I thought was her pulling my legs to get out because I had dirt in my eyes. And I looked up and it was a tornado trying to pull me out over here. And all I saw was all our stuff going straight up. He has now been touched by the devastation of a tornado twice. His mother also lost a home in Joplin, Missouri. Bad luck bringing out the good in many. <laughs> neighbors helping neighbors. Debbie Draper helped Rocher search the rubble for his six cats. I've been all over town and there must be 10 houses like this. In the parking lot of this damaged Main Street market, free bags of ice for those who still have homes but no power. We're just uh, trying to get out of here. We we'll go somewhere where there's power. Now, what do you have the ice for? Food, the, like the expensive stuff, oh, mostly. Sorry. How do you keep such a positive attitude with, you know, this, your whole life here? You're, you're alive. The one thing Michael Rocher hopes comes out of all this devastation is that people learn they need to heed these tornado warnings. Don't go outside to take a look at the sky. He says it was literally 10 seconds between the time he saw the tornado in his backyard and he was able to make his way into the basement and then have his home collapse around him. On the scene in Munson, Massachusetts, Tina Detell, News 8.